Are you starting to think that vacation is not even worth it because it's so stressful getting ready and then so overwhelming coming back? Hi, I'm Dr. Leanne Davey and I'm just about to head out on vacation. So I'm thinking about how to make vacation last a little longer and not be such a stressful thing. First thing I did, four weeks ahead of my vacation, I started stocking the pantry. That means I dedicated uh, an hour three times a week to getting ahead on a few tasks. I got my invoicing already a bit early. I wrote blogs that are going to be going live while I'm away. And one bonus one, I wrote the blog for the week after I'm back so that I have one less thing to think about in that busy, busy week. So stocking the pantry really helps. Next, I book my marathon night. <laughs> so I know that there's gonna be so much left to get done before I head off on vacation. So I just accept that. I don't worry about it and I try and make it fun. So my marathon day is a day when I'm gonna start at seven, at 7 a.m. At 7 p.m., I'm gonna go get a quick massage to make myself feel better and to start to dream about what vacation is gonna be like. And after that massage, I go back and I work until it's done. That used to mean having childcare so that I could just focus until uh, I was finished. Now, the kids are a bit bigger, but it's still the same thing. I have marathon day, I know it, it's planned, it's all good. Another thing you can do is to book a, a buffer day. If you can afford it in your vacation, booking a day where you might have to work for a couple of hours, but at least you know you've got some time and maybe it's also given you some time to think a little bit more about your packing or whatever else. Just makes life a little easier to have that buffer day before you actually go away. When you're on vacation, it's really important to have a good out of office you know, rule. So have you talked to your colleagues and your manager beforehand to decide how you're gonna manage things? Are you completely off the grid and your out of office says, talk to this person? Are you going to be checking in each morning at 8 a.m., but only then? Um, again, that's good. Just make sure that it's clear with people before you go and clear in your out of office message or your voicemail. The other thing I allow, and this is just me, I don't know, I'm an entrepreneur, I have my own business, so I don't feel comfortable being completely out of touch for two weeks. So what I've done is next Wednesday, I'm having a cheat day, and that's okay. Just like I have cheat days when I'm on vacation with a few too many chocolate milkshakes. My cheat day for work is that I have one day, I do need to have a couple of meetings, they're really important, and I'm okay with that. So I don't beat myself up over it. I have scheduled one meeting from 7.30 to 8.15 in the morning, and another from 4 to 5 p.m. next Wednesday, but there's nothing any day other than Wednesday, and that doesn't even interfere with the prime time that the sun is gonna be on the lake, so I'm okay with it. When you come back, if you can have a buffer day there, it makes life so much better. I personally have two buffer days. One buffer day, which is you know the Sunday or whatever day where we're home on Saturday and I have a day to do laundry and unpack, and the buffer work day, which is the first day with no meetings so that I can get through my inbox, I can get my head around things. And those two strategies have really, I came back from a trip from Fiji literally a 14 hour time difference and went straight back to work the next day. Yeah, that was the last time I ever do that. That was ridiculous. Now, one home buffer day, one work buffer day, and that's really helpful. The other reason that day is helpful is that what you wanna do is not just open your email and start responding to them in order. That's gonna have you responding to the wrong things. So the last thing to do is on that first morning back, hopefully you've been able to block some time, and what you wanna do is set a timer, spend no more than an hour, and get through all the messages, triaging them into FYI that you're gonna read later in the week, uh, important action required. Um, and even if you can you know, do it between action required today, so I can't leave the office until I finish these, or action required kind of this week, uh, and then the urgent, and then work through them in that order. It'll just save you a lot of stress and just a lot of useless activity. Nothing worse than responding to a whole email chain and then after you've put time into responding, somebody's like, oh yeah, we already made that call while you were gone. So make sure you triage before you jump in. Vacation is super important. It's important to your business, to your team, to your productivity, to your mental health, to your relationships. It's super important. Please, please, please take your vacation, but try a few things to make it less aversive, both in the lead up and when you come back. So that's it for me. I'm Dr. Leanne Davey, here to help you get the vacation that you deserve.